नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आरएच केमिस्ट्री इन टुडेज कॉमेड के 2020 प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन सीरीज इलेक्ट्रोकेमिस्ट्री एंड रेडॉक्स रिएक्शंस आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द स्टैंडर्ड इलेक्ट्रोड पोटेंशियल फॉर डेनियल सेल इज गिवन 1.1 वोल्ट व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ डेल्टा जी नॉट फॉर द रिएक्शन सो डेल्टा जी नॉट फॉर द रिएक्शन व्हाट इज द फार्मूला डेल्टा जी नॉट इज इक्वल टू माइनस एन एफ ई नॉट सेल which means your answer should be in minus so a and c option you can easily eliminate remaining two options that is b and d now what is n value that is very important because remaining you can put it very easily minus this n value will write into f is remember we know that 96500 coulomb into e not cell is 1.1 what is n value n value depending on the reaction they have given the hint daniel cell daniel cell means what is the reaction So zinc plus Cu two plus give rise to Cu plus Zn two plus is a very famous Daniel reaction. So Daniel cell reaction. So zinc two two plus two electron two plus two 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 electron change. So hence it is two. Then if you see the the overall calculation, if you see once again, if you, by seeing this we can easily tell the answer for this question should be B because ninety six into two. Almost ninety five into two. If you take it also, so one ninety five. So into one point one means it is around two hundred. So around two hundred minus should be the answer. So two one two is the answer. So that is minus two one two point three kilojoules per mole. Very simple. Very very important. This type of question. Now, lambda not m for NH four Cl, NaOH and NaCl are given. De depending on the Korcher's law of uh, equal this limiting molar conductivity. Right, so lambda not m of NaOH, NH4OH, they are asking. So lambda not m of NH4OH, molar conductivity of ammonium hydroxide can be given as. Now this you have to arrange in such a way that so Cl Cl get cancelled, so Na Na get cancelled and NH4 and OH should be there, right? So hence I will write it as lambda not m of NH4 Cl. So first NH4 Cl will take because we want NH4 Cl, then plus Remember plus Na minus Na, hence it is plus NaOH. You can take plus NaOH and minus lambda not m of remember so NaCl we can take because in that case what happens plus Cl minus Cl get cancelled plus Na minus Na get cancelled remaining is NH4OH. Yes. Now you add one thirty NH4Cl plus two forty eight minus. One twenty six point five. So calculate one thirty plus two forty eight. So three forty eight plus thirty. Three seventy eight. Three seventy eight uh, minus one twenty six point five. So uh, if you do that, you are going to get the exact answer as two fifty one point five. Correcta. Huh? So two fifty one point five. You are going to get the answer. That is option A is the answer for this question. Yes. <laughs> Very simple. Depending on the electrochemical series, I have taken, and this we discuss in redox reaction chapter also and electrochemistry also. Hence, I have joined these two chapters. Strongest reducing agent among the following is they have given sodium minus two point seven one minus one point six six plus two point eight seven minus zero point eight three. So option four three two one that is A B C D. It is given. So here only to confuse you people. Remember, for example, if you select one as answer, A is not the answer. So D is the answer like that. So to confuse that, they have set the option like this. Now on which basis you have to select the reducing agent? This type of question you may come across in NEET exams also. Remember. So in which basis you have to see? So we know that in case of the electrochemical series, so electrochemical series is minus reduction potential. Minus is arranged, then zero, then plus is arranged. Correcta? Huh? So as we come down towards minus to plus, we know that oxidizing nature increases. As we move from plus to minus, reducing nature increases. So which means the hint is remember. So more negative reduction potential, more reduction pot, more negative reduction potential, and good reducing agent that is good reducing agent. So reduction potential as it increases towards negative, more negative, good reducing agent, more positive, good oxidizing agent. Remember that part. 
So hence more negative is which one? Sodium. So sodium is more negative. Hence the answer for that question should be D. One is the answer. This is the hint for this. Remember. Now fourth question. Remember fourth question is very similar to the second question. I am not going to do this. I am not going to do this. So what you have to do is you have to calculate the answer and in comment section, comment section, write the answer. Write the answer and first correct answer i will pin that comment i will pin that comment so that comment i will pin those the uh, correct answer those will send for the first time remember first yaru adana send martiri those who give that first answer correct answer i will give the pin of that particular comment yes <laughs> very similar to this so bacl to given so remember uh, NaOH is given, NaCl is given, BaCl to given and BaOH twice they are asking use the same formula and calculate. And the fifth one, when the same amount of electricity is passed through solutions of AgNO3 and CuSO4, 0.4 gram of Cu is deposited, the amount of Ag deposited is. And remember this is based on second law of electrolysis, second law, Faraday's second law of electrolysis. Faraday's second law. According to that remember, Mass of Cu divided by mass of Ag is equal to equivalent mass of Cu divided by equivalent mass of Ag. Then how to calculate equivalent mass of Cu and Ag? So atomic mass is given. How to calculate equivalent mass? Remember equivalent mass is equal to atomic mass divided by charge divided by charge copper is having plus 2 charge correct huh? so 63.5 divided by 2 you have to do and divided by 1 you have to do that is for 108 divided by 1 and for copper 63.5 divided by 2 you have to do so that 31.75 you are going to get so mass of copper deposited they have given 0.4 so 0.4 divided by mass of ag so mass of ag is equal to equivalent mass of copper is 31 point so 63.5 divided by 2 so 31.75 will get divided by 108 is the equivalent mass of mass of Ag then hence remember mass of Ag is equal to 108 into 4 108 into 4 remember I can write like this also 1.08 into 40 both are same 108 into 0.4 1.08 into 40 divided by 31.75. How I will calculate in the very less time you can see. 40 and 31.75 will cancel it each other. I know it will not cancel but we can cancel it each other because difference in the answer is there. Answer is similar to 1.08. Very nearer to 1.08. 1.08 similar nearest is which one? So answer is A. So don't waste your time. So second law of electrolysis remember this. Then electrolysis of brine solution gives a mixture of brine solution means remember NaCl plus water mixture on electrolysis on electrolysis we know that here Na plus Cl minus H plus OH minus two cation two anion out of this to which one will deposit it depending on the lower discharge potential lower discharge potential is there for Cl hence remember Cl2 gas liberates at anode plus out of these two H plus is having lower discharge potential so H2 gases liberates at the cathode so how can we come to know it is depending on the discharge potential so product of electrolysis I have explained in detail that is in case of the CET synopsis part so KCET synopsis part and you can see that video or at least you can download that uh, material synopsis colorful handwritten materials from the description box the link is given you can download it so in that it is given very clearly so Cl to H2O remaining is what Na plus and OH minus plus NaOH is the product so which is the answer so B is the answer in this particular case now seventh one highest molar conductivity is shown by so same molecule is given NaCl, good electrolyte. So remember we know that molar conductivity directly proportional to dilution. As dilution increases, molar, molar conductivity increases, remember. 
So, which one is more diluted? If you see, you can easily tell 0.005 m is more diluted, which is less concentrated. So, the answer for this question is A. That is, seventh question answer is A. Eighth one, eighth one. Conductivity of solution not affected by. Conductivity of the solution is not affected by, remember, it is addition of ethanol. Addition of ethanol. So, addition of ethanol, you can see. So, this is, you can see addition of water increases the conductivity because water will increase the dissociation and process of heating also increase the number of ion formation. Addition of acetic acid is also good electrolyte, but ethanol is organic solvent, hence the answer is D. Now, the EMF of the cell containing sodium copper electrode is 3.05 volt. If the electropotential of Cu electrode is 0 0.34, the uh, uh, electropotential of the sodium is they are asking. So here, E naught of cell is equal to E of cathode minus E of anode. We know that E of cathode minus E of anode. So now, one thing is very clear. Two options you can eliminate very easily because copper is having plus state. But sodium is present above hydrogen in the series. See, hydrogen is zero. Copper is plus. Minus is sodium. So, already answer is there here. Minus 2.71. But how to get that answer? I will tell you. So, minus is there. Hence, definitely we can remove. Plus 2 plus options. You can eliminate very easily. Remaining is 2. Minus. Now, how to calculate? You can see. E naught cell is given. That is 3.05. Then, which one is taken as anode? And which one is taken as cathode? In that case, remember always... These are the plus values. As the plus values increases, capacity to undergo reduction increases. Hence, it can act as an oxidizing agent. Correct? Reduction increases means it should be act as a cathode. Negative act as an anode. Undergo oxidation easily. And also we know that sodium is electropositive element. Comes under first group. We can say that in the first group, it will undergo reduction very easily. So, sorry, which will undergo oxidation very easily, acting as a reducing agent, we will tell. So, hence, remember, undergo oxidation, it should be anode. Copper should be cathode. So, E of copper, E of copper is how much? 0 0.34 and minus E of an sodium you have to calculate. Right? So, E of sodium is equal to 0 0.34 minus 3.05. 3.05 hence definitely the answer is minus 2.71 you are going to get 3 point it is not possible so minus 2.71 a is the answer in this particular case then 965 coulombs of electricity is passed through a solution of silver nitrate the amount of silver deposited see atomic mass of silver is given so silver nitrate deposited as silver means what will happen ag plus of silver nitrate forming ag so, by gaining one mole of electrons, one mole of electron is how much? 96,500 coulomb. That will always give rise to one mole of electrons. So, hence remember, 96,500 used to deposit 108 gram. So, 965 deposit definitely 1.08 gram. So, 1.08 gram is in the C option. So, answer should be C. Then, which of the following species do not show disproportionation reaction? So one thing is very clear. Disproportionation reaction is the one in which same element undergo both oxidation as well as reduction. So remember both will undergo oxidation as well as reduction. Both process it will take place. So because of that reason. So one thing is very clear. To undergo oxidation as well as reduction that element should be in the lower oxidation state or in between oxidation state. Lowest and highest never show disproportionation. Remember that. So, for example, I will tell you, S2SO3 can show disproportionation because it is plus 4. Highest is, remember, S2SO4 possible. Lowest is possible, S2S, that is minus 2, and here it is plus 6. If you ask me, S2SO4, whether it will undergo disproportionation or not? No, because plus 6 is highest in this case now. More than plus 6 is not possible, hence never undergo oxidation. Like that, you will see it here. For chlorine, remember, plus 7 is highest. Plus 7 is highest for chlorine. Here, ClO minus, remember, it is plus 1. Here, it is plus 7. 
here it is plus uh, 3, here it is plus 5. You can calculate. ClO4 minus how to calculate? See ClO4 minus Cl is x. Oxygen is minus 2 into 4. So minus 8 is equal to minus 1. X is equal to plus 7 you will get. So plus 7 means definitely highest is for chlorine plus 7. Plus 7 never undergo oxidation. So further oxidation not possible. Only it can undergo reduction. Hence disproportionation is not shown by ClO4 minus 1. Now equivalent mass of K2Cr2O7 in acidic solution is equal to. One thing you remember, equivalent mass of oxidizing agent is equal to, oxidizing agent is equal to molecular mass divided by number of electron changed, remember, number of electron change. Now you can see, potassium dichromate when it acts as oxidizing agent, Cr2O7 2 minus give rise to Cr3 plus. So on to balance this, I will write 2Cr3+. Now here chromium oxidation state is plus 6. Plus 6 to plus 3 means how many unit change? 3 unit change. Correct? Huh? So but how many chromium is there? 2 chromium. 1 chromium to 1 chromium, 3 unit. 2 chromium is there, 6 unit change. Hence remember equivalent mass is molecular mass divided by 6 electron. So the option for this question is D. Remember, equivalent mass of the oxidizing agent or reducing agent given in the similar manner, number of electron changed you have to uh, divide by. So, you molecule mass divided by that. So, 6 electron change. How? See, Cr2 means plus 6, Cr. So, 1 chromium to 1 chromium, 3 unit change, plus 6 to plus 3. But 2 chromium is there, so 6 unit change. So, answer is T. So, this is the uh, Comet K 2020 previous year questions for the uh, it, it will act as a some somewhat you can learn something out of it definitely if you feel that you it is useful for you share to your friends also and if you are not subscribed till now so subscribe to the channel thank you have a nice day and don't forget to comment the answer of this particular question that is question number four so that <clears throat> i will pin that comment first comment those who will give the correct answer thank you have a nice day